Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. Our guest is Dr. Jawa. He's a professor of mechanical engineering at Cal Poly Pomona. He joins us to talk about an elementary school robotics program. Nice Thank to have you with us, Doctor. Thank you for having me. Um, speak well. Matter of fact, we have one of the robots here uh, on set on stage with us here, and we're rolling in some B-roll, and you've brought with you, I think, what, about 10 or 12 students here today? Absolutely, yeah. So they're joining us in studio. We want to give them a shout-out to them and their parents. Speak for a moment about this elementary school robotics program. Why elementary school? Well, Cal Poly Pomona has been involved with local schools for a long time. We have done this program with high schools for about 10 years now. But what we found out is many times in high school level, it is already too late. Many students don't like to do math anymore. They don't like science anymore. So we realize we are unable to reach a large number of students when we go to high school. So the best way to start this program is to start very early on in elementary school. So and that's I guess they've moved on and they're interested in yeah. other things. Absolutely. Yeah. I know Sally Wright has that science program for young girls and she said that to me too, is that we Absolutely. need to get to them early. We have to get them very, very early. All right, why robotics? Well, that's a very good question because I consider, I say this all the time, you know the three R's, reading, writing, arithmetic. I add a fourth R. Robotics okay. is the fourth R. Why? Because it is one piece in which you have mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, math, science, everything wrapped into one. And it is exciting, it is moving. So kids get excited about robotics. In fact, learning is fun. They don't even know that they are learning. That's the most exciting part of robotics. And this program's been going on for about three years, and I understand that this is not just in one elementary school, but people have really looked at your program, lauded it, and they're trying to replicate it all throughout Southern California. Absolutely, in fact, what we have done at Cal Poly is developed a national model. We started with two elementary schools locally here, uh -huh. Montview Elementary School in Pomona, and also Collegewood Elementary School in Walnut. Okay. And that program has been there for three years. We are on our fourth year. We have very well-trained teachers. For example, in Pomona, we have Rebecca Norwood and Mary Jo Ortiz, awesome teachers. We have Lori Huckler from uh, Walnut Valley School District. Uh -huh. They have become champions of this program, and now they can train other teachers. So we can move on to other schools. So your idea here is that you establish the program, but you don't intend to babysit it. You create it, and then you teach the teachers, and then they're supposed to, in turn, work with the students and keep that going. That is correct. We want the program to be self-sustaining. We don't want to be going to the schools again and again for years to come. We want to move on to new schools. In All fact, right. we will be expanding our program this year. Oh, my goodness. Okay, real quickly, show me this robot. So well, people kind of wonder, what, what's the applicability of this, which is that as he turns it on, you'll see how he makes it stop. And how can that be used in normal life? Well, this simple robot basically identifies obstacles and then goes away from obstacles. Now, obstacle avoidance is very important in the automobile industry. And in fact, when we walk, we do that intuitively. We don't run into a wall. So obstacle avoidance is very important. Now, remember, third graders are understanding what an ultrasonic sensor is, what a sound sensor is, what a light sensor is. And they learn to program. They build this robot and program. So that's an awesome experience. Uh, early on and they get uh, excited about engineering and, and, and we hope that will stay with them. And the applicability is that cars now, that's in our cars, whereas mm -hmm. you come up against something, the car stops so you don't hit something. In fact, this year's first Lego competition that some of our students would be taking part as an after school program uh -huh. deals with smart move dealing with transportation. Transportation is a very major issue today. Mm -hmm. So that whole question about how do you have a smart transportation? Can cars figure out what is around them so that it can mm -hmm. avoid obstacles? Or it, if there is an impact, can we make the people safe? These are all the questions in the minds of all automobile engineers, and, and they are addressing those issues early on. They so think about So some things them. that we really can use in our life. Absolutely. You're teaching students with robotics. That is right. correct. Congratulations That's on your success. And to our wonderful audience that we had here today, thanks so much. You guys were all very quiet and very good. We appreciate it. For Charter Local Edition, I'm Tracy Young. Now back to CNN Headline News. We were out on the dot.